Okay, let's do this. Champions of Champions boxing talk here. Well, we're just, what, a matter of days away from the Super Series Super Middleweight final between George St. Groves and Callum Smith, the brother of Liam Smith. It's been a heck of a journey, hasn't it, from where we started to where we are today with George Groves. I mean, this is a man who's seen it all. He's the glory of being um, in the Super Series final, being world champion, and having seen the smooth with the grit, shall we say. The smooth with the grit. Last fight out for him was against... Callum Smith, I will say, before I even get to George Grove's last fight, he has a good, good jab and good power from range. And he's pretty damn good fundamentally. I have to give him that. Last time out, George Groves beat a man who only had a bad attitude, and that was Chris Eubank Jr., who has some energy, power, work rate, but he doesn't have the skills or fundamentals to sort of deal with a George Groves. You will never get <laughs> Eubank being able to jab his way in, then let combinations go and be out of range, jab from range, knock his opponent back, you know, circle him around the ring, go on the defensive, you know, throw shots, set him up well without leaving himself wide open. He just tends to swing. He's more of an athlete than a boxer, you know, to be absolutely honest with you. He just thinks he turns up and the opponent in the ring dissolves. Well, that happens when you fight a certain level. Or when he fought Arthur Abrahams, when you fight a guy past his prime. But when you meet some of the best in your division, which George Groves was, who's seen it all, you can come a cropper. Now, I made the most stupid prediction of all time by buying into the fact that Eubank could beat George Groves. By God, did that go against me. But there was an important moment that happened in that fight late on. Because Eubank is a blunt razor. You know, he's not a Gillette. He's what you call a Bic that's been used too much, you know. You sort of tried shaving steel with it and it's gone all blunt. But sometimes a blunt razor bloody hurts. And he did injure George Grove's shoulder early on. <sighs> what he's telling about this fight, after what's been months, is George Grove's shoulder ready for what is in terms of, again, fundamentals, a tougher test than Eubank. We'll wait and see on that. I don't know for sure. You don't know for sure. We'll find out on the night. But what a night it is to be testing something like this. He doesn't get a warm-up fight. The trophy is on the line. The world title, which is more important than the trophy. Is on the line. Right? George Groves was determined to get back into shape for this. I think he believes in himself. He climbed from despair after the Carl Roch battles. And the Budu Jack fight. In the United States. He went on to win a world title. Then went on to absolutely school Eubank get to this final and although I don't think George Groves has the killer instinct and is quite as sharp as he used to be he used to fight more like a boy than a man he got dragged into Carl Froch's style of fight that was the boy in him but against Eubank he just boxed his fight all the way through that was the man George Groves these days has no problem winning unanimously on points, outscoring his opponent and taking the decision. I think he had problems with that years ago, but not now. 
The crowds don't get to him anymore. And the ironic thing is, he's more of a crowd favourite now than he was then. You know, the persona of George Groves has, tra- has sort of changed. You know, he's a he was a bit of an antagonist initially, and now he's a people's champion. And I think he's more at peace in that role. Right? He has a terrific snappy jab. He has a tremendous right hand. He has very good footwork, very good hand speed, awesome combinations in my opinion. Does the right thing now when he feels any danger, in other words, defends or ties up. And add to the equation experience experience big word vital in sports vital in life Callum Smith now has got some good experience he's gone all the way to the final in this tournament though I've seen Callum Smith be susceptible to a double jab he's managed to defend off one but the other has got through and he was busted up rather you know gruesomely with a jab early in this tournament right and he fought a guy who I think was used to being an MMA fighter or something and I wasn't overly impressed with Callum Smith I thought Callum Smith with his talent should have broken the guy down and taken him out because I get again I think Callum Smith has a good power punch he's good at placing his shots They're accurate. He sets it up well. And I think he's smarter than just taking those jabs. But the way to avoid them jabs will come with experience. I'm not sure he has that yet. George Groves will have more to deal with, though, at range. Because this will be... You will see a battle of who has the best jab in this. And he can't just decide... You know, I'm just going to walk and do what I want because Callum Smith will throw that jab. And he's powerful. He stops people, right? And he stops super middleweights. He's a big super middleweight. Eubank Jr. was not. And at times, his power, he needed a clutter of shots, Eubank, to stop people at middleweight. So his power at super middleweight is probably not going to be there. But Callum Smith has the power, has the jab. It's just a matter. Well, I say it's just a matter. Is this the night he comes of age? Personally, at this point, if George Groves is George Groves, in other words, if the shoulder is in good condition, I'm taking George Groves to win this fight on points. And I'm taking him to be the smarter, more savvy ring veteran in there. I think Callum Smith will have his moments, but I think it's going to come late. I think George Groves early, Callum Smith again, will learn that this is one of the best jabs in the division. And the right hand will make Callum Smith tentative. And George Groves' movement... I don't think Cam Smith has seen anything quite like it. George Groves will have to watch hanging around at distance near the ropes or anything because Cam Smith can catch him with that jab and set up the right hand from there. And he can sort of duck low with long long arms and go to George's body. But I think George Groves can sneak in there. I think he can use the footwork to sort of circle and then come in unexpected and land his power shots and then be gone again. George Groves is not really a volume puncher, but he's an extremely accurate one. And the thing is, you sort of don't know when it's going to come, when the when he's going to unleash the jab or when he's going to make a move in and then bam. Carl Froch had massive trouble early. Trying to figure out what George Groves was going to do next. Because the hand speed was dazzling in the first half of that fight. And the accuracy, the punch selection was perfect. That's what Callum Smith may struggle with. Punch selection. Because again, as I said, 
He struggled with a sort of ordinary jab early on in the tournament. He's going to face much more variety from a jab. George Groves can jab, jab to the body, jab to the head, set up power punches with the jab. People say about a jab, oh, it's just a jab. No, it's how you use a jab. There's many ways to use a jab. George Groves does it well. At the moment, I think Callum Smith is a diamond that needs refining. And he'll come again. He could win if he lands the right shot. He's powerful enough to hurt George Groves. And he's younger. If Callum Smith can buzz George Groves, he has it in him to be as intelligent enough to not be reckless, like a Chris Eubank, and finish the job. George Groves cannot afford for that shoulder to get injured again because when it did against Eubank in the semi-final, Eubank had no clue <laughs> what to do to set up a finishing blow. Callum Smith would. You can't fight Callum Smith with one arm. So, I'm leaning towards the Saint on this. I think down the road, Callum Smith will be a world champion. It could be that night. As I said, it could be a coming of age for Callum Smith. He is a tremendous boxer. But I think he loves it from range. George Groves has got not has got to not give him the range. He's got to be more in and out with his work, in my opinion. And sometimes Callum Smith's feet, for me, right now, are more clumsy than George Groves. He, I don't think he plants them as well as George Groves. But again, this has all come together for George Groves with experience. I think Callum Smith will lose... On points, but it won't be a defeat as bad as what George Groves received from, say, Carl Froch. Callum Smith will go away and regroup. I think George Groves' days are starting to be numbered. He will retire at some point soon, I believe. Callum Smith can go back to the drawing board and come again, but for right now, Callum Smith is more of a boxer, more of a thinker than his brother Liam Smith, who's more of a warrior who likes to get in on the inside, throw body shots and short jabs and short punches. Callum likes to box outside, in my opinion. And his game will only be enhanced, as I say, with time, experience, practice and fighting better opposition which he's not quite done yet and George Groves has a whole ray of stars from the division he's fought James DeGale, Carl Froch, Bodu Jack the list goes on and he knows how to deal with a guy with long arms remember he did tremendously well early against Carl Froch he has to sustain that against Callum Smith. He may even drop Callum Smith. He's got the power to do it. If Callum Smith is caught with... Sometimes, to me, he leaves his chin a bit high. If he gets caught with his chin high, George Groves could drop him. But I think he's got it in him to survive the fight. Because I don't think George Groves will go in there and throw pedal to the medal like he did against Carl Froch. But Carl Froch had an underrated jab, an underrated long jab, and that experience, nobody's telling me, was not gold for George Groves. But the Saint wins this for me. His head movement, I think, as well will pay dividends. And we'll see a boxer who has bit by bit put all the pieces of a jigsaw together. And he will complete it by winning the Super Series. I see this being a good story for George Groves. A man that was on his feet a couple of years ago. And was knocked down to the canvas. And many people didn't think he'd rise again. But he has. And I think this will be the icing on the Saints cake. Come Saturday. So this is Champions of Champions Boxing Talk. It's a short one from me. Only 15 minutes. 
There's more of a story to George Groves, but the story of Callum Smith will continue. After Saturday, I think he has the strength to only get better. But George Groves gets the W. Champions of Champions Boxing Talk. I'm out. <laughs>